Welcome to Royal Secrets. Future of the slimmed down monarchy. Will Harry and Andrew always be left out in the cold if Charles uses his reign to change the royal family's future? After his mother's passing, King Charles III may be about to start a major reform of the monarchy, which might leave Princes Harry and Andrew out in the cold for good. It is well known that the king wants to reduce the size of the royal family in the foreground. According to experts, Charles wants to make the monarchy a leaner machine with less to talk about. According to royal observers, the former Prince of Wales wants to make sure that the firm has no hangers-on, with each member required to contribute their fair share to a new, more efficient monarchy. During the Platinum Jubilee in June, when the Queen only allowed working members of the royal family to appear on the Buckingham Palace balcony, the idea of the slimmed-down monarch was evident. However, a number of outside events have cast doubt on King Charles's original plan, which supposedly featured a small core of just seven people, including himself. The long-reigning king was originally included in the plan, which was set into motion prior to the Queen's passing, along with Prince Philip, King Charles and Camilla, Prince William and Kate, and Prince Harry. Harry's future in the shrunken monarchy appears highly improbable after his decision to forego performing official royal duties and move to America with his wife Meghan Markle. Philip passed away in 2021 at the age of 99. As the brother of King Charles and the son of the Queen, Prince Andrew would have likely played a prominent role in a smaller monarchy. However, since his U.S. sex assault lawsuit with Virginia Jufer, Prince Andrew has been shunned. However, royal observers claim that this has forced Princess Anne, the Princess Royal, and Prince Edward and his wife Sophie, Countess of Wessex, into the conflict as essential members of King Charles's future monarchy. Others warn that the number of patrigonages may be lowered so that the royal family can concentrate more intently on a smaller number of important subjects. Analysts speculate that King Charles's plans for his reign may place a high priority on the environment. I think there are potentially tremendous hazards with shrinking down the number of the royal family, because as Bob Drive. Robert Morris argues, the question is, what is the monarchy designed to do? Dr. Craig Prescott remarked in March 2022 on the UCL Political Science Events podcast. However, I believe that the other question is, what is it going to stop doing, and you're going to potentially cause some disappointment at the things that end up being excluded? Despite this and the absence of potential leaders, royal observers predict Charles will move forward with his efforts to streamline the monarchy. The heir apparent has desired to reduce the core of the working royals for a very long time in order to save costs and make people be worth the money that they get from the government, according to royal biographer Angela Levin, who spoke with talk radio in May 2021. So how exactly could the new monarchy of King Charles function going forward? Here, MailInline examines potential front benchers as well as those who are most likely to be left out. The following monarch, King Charles, is slated to reside at Buckingham Palace. Charles will take center stage in the revamped monarchy as the next king. His dwelling will change the most immediately, along with his rumored desire to reduce the size of the family. Since 2003, Clarence House, located on the mall in the city of Westminster, has served as the former Prince of Wales' official residence. The Queen has lived in Buckingham Palace as her official residence, but after the passing of her beloved Prince Philip, she frequently visited Windsor Castle. The Queen intended to stay at Clarence House after her father passed away, but Winston Churchill persuaded her to transfer there because of Buckingham Palace's status as the monarchy, according to royal biographer Penny Junior in her book The Firm. It is anticipated that King Charles would relocate inside Buckingham Palace like his mother did. There is no doubt about that, a royal source informed the Mail on Sunday in February 2022. According to HRH, monarchy headquarters must have a monarch. This has always been the case. Until he becomes king, the Prince of Wales will not move into Buckingham Palace. But he will unquestionably...